Currently, the 168-pound Mexican boxers are dominating the scene. Canelo holds four championship belts, and soon Munguia will challenge him. Yeah, with that right hand cut. In this context, we will talk about a future boxing star, a young Mexican boxer. Munguia was born on October 6, 1996 in Tijuana, Mexico. His father, Senior Munguia, was a professional boxer who competed in the heavyweight division in his youth. Wishing for his son to follow in his footsteps, he introduced Munguia to boxing at an early age. As an amateur, Munguia became the Mexican national champion among teenagers, and he began his professional boxing career at the age of 17. Switching to professional boxing at an early age is a common practice in Mexico. Munguia, a native of Tijuana, trained alongside champions like Antonio Margarito and Carlos Ocampo. He fought his initial bouts exclusively in Mexico, as champions could not assist him with promotional matters. After fighting in Mexico for about five years and securing 28 victories, Munguia caught the attention of Oscar de la Hoya in 2018, which opened the door for him to showcase his talent in the United States. Upon his arrival, he was proposed as an opponent for Gennady Golovkin's fight in May 2018, but the Athletic Commission deemed Munguia too inexperienced at the time and did not grant permission for the fight. Following that decision, Munguia faced American Saddam Ali for the WBO title in the 154-pound division in the spring of that same year. Ali had captured this belt a year earlier by defeating the legendary Miguel Cotto. This match represented a significant challenge for the 21-year-old boxer. Nevertheless, determined to make a strong impression in his debut match, Munguia managed to knock down his opponent with a powerful punch in the first round. Shortly thereafter, Ali, still reeling from the initial knockdown, falls again. Thanks to the break, Ali managed to recover momentarily, but towards the end of the second round, Munguia landed a straight right hand that resulted in yet another knockdown. In the fourth round, the Mexican ended the fight with a single hook punch. Thus, at just 21 years old, Munguia became a world champion. In the summer of 2018, Munguia defended his title against the former world champion from Britain, Liam Smith. Smith's only professional loss at that point had come two years earlier against Canelo. As usual, Munguia began the fight aggressively, pressing forward towards his opponent from the start. However, Smith, prepared for such an aggressive start, began to counter the less experienced Mexican with his own strikes, using his experience to anticipate and respond to Munguia's attacks. Although Liam Smith seemed like an unsolvable puzzle for the young Mexican up to the midpoint of the fight, Munguia managed to unravel this challenge in the sixth round with his favored hook punch. Yet, Smith, who had faced many trials in his career, didn't give up after a single knockdown. In a fight that continued in a true Mexican style thereafter, Munguia went on to win by points, largely thanks to that one knockdown. Two months later, Munguia faced Canadian Brandon Cook in a match. Munguia, aggressively pursuing the Canadian, who was outmatched in boxing skills, knocked him down, forcing him to take a knee in the third round. In the spring of 2019, Munguia defended his title in Mexico against Irish boxer Dennis Hogan. Hogan, not very well known to the fans, started moving from the first second of the fight, never giving a moment's rest throughout the match. Chasing the Irishman, who interspersed his movements with heavy punches, proved to be no easy task for the Mexican. Despite receiving several counterpunches, Munguia managed to win this fight by a narrow margin, thanks to his youth and perseverance. A 
few months later, Munguia faces African boxer Patrick Alote. Unable to withstand the relentless pressure from Munguia, Alote is forced to succumb in the fourth round. Following this fight, Munguia, outgrowing the 154-pound division, decides to vacate his championship belt and move up to the 160-pound category. At the beginning of 2020, Munguia fights a ranking match against Irish boxer Gary O'Sullivan, who is known for neatly trimming one side of his mustache and is a very experienced boxer. Taking advantage of his opponent's tendency to leave openings during exchanges, Sullivan catches Munguia with a straight right hand towards the end of the third round. The punch land landed right at the sound of the gong, making it difficult to assess how the Mexican boxer took it. However, it certainly alarmed his promoters, Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins, causing them a moment of shock. The fight then progresses with both boxers taking turns to dominate. However, unable to withstand the intensity of the exchanges, Sullivan takes a knee in the 11th round, indicating his physical toll. There it is, Sergio, and there goes the white towel, it's in the ring! In the fall of that year, Munguia competes against Turiano Johnson for the WBO Intercontinental Middleweight title. Johnson proves to be even more aggressive than the Mexican, attempting to keep Munguia on his heels by constantly pressing forward and not allowing him any time to rest. However, Munguia, who had been effectively countering his opponent with heavy punches, lands an uppercut in the sixth round that tears open the upper lip of Johnson. Additionally, with Johnson's eyes swelling and his eyebrows split open, the medical staff does not allow the fight to continue, deeming it unsafe for him to proceed. In 2021, Munguia secures victories against Polish boxer Kamil Sheremeta and Gabriel Rosado. In the summer of 2022, Munguia fought British boxer Jimmy Kelly. Kelly, wary of his opponent, frequently resorted to clinching throughout the fight. In the fifth round, the British boxer lands a punch on Munguia while holding him around the neck. Showing no emotion, Munguia retaliates within the same round, effectively punishing his opponent for the foul. Now outgrowing the 160-pound division, Munguia moved up to the 168-pound category in 2023. In the summer of that year, he faced Ukrainian boxer Sergei Derevyanchenko. Munguia starts the fight at his usual high pace, aggressively taking the initiative from the outset. Sergi manages to temper Munguia's aggression with counter punches and, by the middle of the fight, begins to take the offensive himself, turning the momentum in his favor. In the highly competitive bout, Sergi takes a knee in the final 12th round after absorbing a series of, of heavy body shots showcasing the intense back-and-forth battle between the two fighters. Despite Munguia's attempts to end the fight early by intensifying his assault, his opponent does not give him the opportunity to do so, demonstrating resilience and defense against the onslaught. The difficulty of the fight is evident from the joy of Munguia's team when the referee uh, raises his hand in victory. Had there been no knockdown, the victory could very well have gone to Sergi, highlighting the close competition between the two boxers. In this fight, Munguia won the WBC silver title in the 168-pound division. He is scheduled to defend that title against British boxer John Ryder in January of this year. As usual, Jamie takes control of the center of the ring and begins to pressure his opponent, pushing them towards the ropes. In the second round, Munguia launches an attack with a series of punches, resulting in a knockdown of Ryder. In the fourth round, when Ryder attempts to counterattack, he himself gets caught by a counterpunch, leading to a second knockdown by the Mexican boxer. 
increasing the pressure, Munguia finishes the fight in the ninth round, securing another victory. With this victory, Munguia now has the opportunity to challenge Canelo for the title of undisputed champion. What do you think? How good are Munguia's chances against Canelo? Comments below. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. One punch, as they get.